weather? I'm examining the bud to find out when they'll bloom. Can you find out that way? Yes, I know now. Hmm, I can tell you exactly. Wow! When will it be? The flowers will appear a week from today, and they'll be in full bloom three days later. Oh, good! That means all the eucalyptus trees will be beautiful ten days from now. Oh, wow! We can hold the flower festival ten days from now. Let's go and tell everybody about this so they can arrange the festival. Yeah, there must be a lot of planning to be done. Wait. Huh? Have any of you seen a cloud shaped like a donut over Mount Bread Knife in the last few days? A donut-shaped cloud? Gee, I've never seen anything like that. All right, never mind. Remember, all the eucalyptus trees will be in full bloom ten days from now. Yeah, we know. Let's go! When the wind's like this, we should see a donut-shaped cloud soon. Hey, Papa, have you ever heard of a donut-shaped cloud over Mount Red Knight? Is this one of those riddles somebody tells you at school? Oh, no, Papa. It was Wes that told us about it. How about you, Mommy? Have you ever heard of it? It sounds familiar. I remember hearing about it many years ago. Really? really? Let's see. I think it was my grandmother who told me about it. Yes, I remember now. She always used to say that when a donut-shaped cloud appeared over Mount Bread Knife, the eucalyptus tree flowers would be especially beautiful. Well, you've never told us about that before. I hope it'll be like that this year. That is just an old superstition. I've never seen a donut-shaped cloud over Mount Bread Knife. <laughs> you mean superstitions are never true? Aw, oh, gee. But you know, old superstitions usually have a bit of truth in them somewhere. But it might be true. Well, nobody can be really sure, dear. Hard to say. <laughs> you're saying is that the eucalyptus blossoms will be extra nice when a donut-shaped cloud appears. Oh, yes, we'll have lots of eucalyptus leaves to eat, and it'll be wonderful for the flower festival. Mm. Mommy, I smell something burning, and it's not my pipe. Oh, I forgot. I was making some eucalyptus toast. Not serious. Oh, the cloud is beginning to change its shape. I'd better take a picture of it for Miss Lewis's paper right away. Bye. <laughs> it's moving. The donut's getting bigger. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have a beautiful flower festival this year. Mm -hmm. How did you happen to see it, Mr. Koala? Oh, just sort of a hunch, Miss Lewis, up early, you know. Very clever of you, and a splendid picture. Yes, Papa's clever, all right, and his daughter takes after him. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think, Miss Lewis? Well, if the old superstition about the donut-shaped cloud is true, we're going to have a wonderful flower festival. Oh, I'm sure the blossoms will be magnificent this year. Then let's make it the biggest and best festival we've ever had. Oh, we should choose a pretty girl to be queen of the festival. The eucalyptus queen. Yes, we'll hold a contest and everybody can vote for the girl they want to be the queen. You vote for your favorite. Mm -hmm. I'll print this picture in my magazine tomorrow and I'll announce the flower queen contest. See you later. Goodbye, Miss Lewis. Miss Lewis wouldn't be bad as the flower queen, you know. I'm sure Betty Owen. What a flower queen. Do you really think so, Ruby? Of course I do. Gorgeous. <laughs> Why not? All right, I'll join the contest. Just 
Hall. I can be sure that Rue Bear would vote for me if I entered the contest. I'd love to be Flower Queen. Betty! Rue Bear, hello. What you doing out here? I was just looking at this. Oh, yes, the contest to choose the Flower Queen. Oh, her costume looks so beautiful. What do you think? Should I try for it? Well, if you did enter the contest, you'd be sure to win it. Oh, Rue Bear, if you say so, I'll do it. You can be sure of my vote anyway. Rue Bear! Ah. Uh, hello, Laura. Anything the matter? It wasn't more than an hour ago you told me you'd vote for me for Queen. Well, you see, that was... I suppose now you're going to tell me you've changed your mind. Oh, but Laura, I didn't... I mean, all of it. I refuse to be the cause of an argument between you two. I think Rue Bear should vote for Laura. Remember, she's your sister. Oh, yes, but Betty... I don't mind. I'll find somebody else to vote for me. Goodbye. Oh, Betty! Come back! Rose Bear! It's plain to see you'd rather cast your vote for Betty than for me. Well, go ahead if that's the way you want to be. I'll tell Mommy and Papa you broke your promise to me. Oh, all right, all right, Laura. I'll vote for you. Do you mean it this time? Oh. I'm going to enter the contest for Flower Queen. I'm sure to win. Yeah, well, I'm entering too. But why, Sammy? You can't win. You're not the type. Why don't you just vote for me? Mm, what do you mean I'm not the type? And I'll be voting for me, not you. All right, do whatever you like. Oh, dear. Women. Oh, well, the the oh, the oh, 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 I'm afraid this contest for the Flower Queen is tearing the place apart. Hey, Rubear, how come you're standing out here all alone like this? Well, wherever I go in the village, everybody's fighting about who will win the contest. I know, it's awful. Every girl in town is fighting to be the winner. Look at that, they're too busy fighting to notice that the eucalyptus trees are wilting. That's true. They don't look healthy at all. I'll bet they won't produce flowers this year. They're all dried out. Uh -huh. There hasn't been any rain for weeks now. Just look at our river. The water is almost gone. It's no wonder that the eucalyptus trees are wilting. Oh, dear. You see, I knew that donut cloud appears on Mount Breadknife only when the air is very dry and no rain is coming. Then that means no blossoms for the flower festival. Well, don't be too sure. That old superstition might come true yet. Maybe there's another way to get water to our trees. What do you mean, weather? Are you talking about some kind of miracle? No miracle, just common sense. I'm going to see Miss Lewis and get her to change the rules. Find a new way to pick the flower queen. Yes, the rules have been changed. Instead of voting, the flower queen will be the girl with the best flower and eucalyptus tree. Good. My eucalyptus tree always has lots of blossoms. I'm sure to win. What can we do to make sure our eucalyptus trees will have lots of flowers? The most important thing is to give them lots of water every day. You may have noticed the eucalyptus trees are wilting. Yes, that's true. Mm. I'd better go home. My eucalyptus trees need water. I'm going to make sure they get plenty of it. Me too. I'm going to hurry. Let's go and help them. Okay. Yeah. Change the rules? But Mommy made me a new dress so I'd look my best for the contest. Now the eucalyptus tree should look their best. If you want to be chosen as Flower Queen, you'd better start watering them. I'll start watering right now. Oh, you'll help me do it, won't you, Blue Bear? Hurry up. Sure, I might have known. My sister never misses a trick. Come on, you can this. You've got to help me. I'm sorry I didn't notice you were getting all dried out. Queen. <clears throat> the title of 
Flower Queen will this year be awarded to all the young ladies who saved our eucalyptus trees. Congratulations. I'm a Flower Queen. I won, I won. Oh, shoot, I'm too. I'm a Flower Queen. Oh. Well, now I understand. Superstition is right, too. When a donut shaped cloud appears over Mount Bread Knife, it means the air is dry and we have to water the eucalyptus trees. And that makes the blossoms extra beautiful.